Hey guys, this is your Tested Weather Forecast with an upcoming severe weather outbreak that will be happening uh, towards the Gulf in South Central United States, as well as parts of uh, the East Coast, going as far north as Virginia and as far west as Texas. <clears throat> this will be happening Sunday through Monday through Tuesday, uh, about three days-ish, give or take. Um... If you aren't already, please subscribe. If you're watching this, you probably like weather-related content, so please make sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you want. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, this goes by SPC standards, so green, marginal, then slight, then enhanced, then moderate, and high. High is the highest it can go in SPC probabilities. <coughs> and you can see I actually have it highlighted here. I say 50-50 chance that they actually issue a high region at least by day one. Outlook, uh, which is four days from now, three or four days from now. Uh, and if it were to be a shoot, it would probably be in this pink region here, uh, Mississippi, Alabama. Uh, and then moderate spreads through much of the region. I'm highly, very highly confident that they will issue a moderate outlook uh, because of how serious this look. These storms have the possibility to produce long tracked, intense tornadoes. Uh, as well as large hail, very large hail, and pretty significantly damaging winds. Let's get right into the weather model. Okay, you can see here with the NAM outlook, uh, you can see storms start forming here. I'm going to show you surface base cape right here, going into the 12. You can see here it takes shape right around eastern Texas and Louisiana. <clears throat> and if we look at a sounding for eastern Texas, wait for it to load, it shows PDS tornado, which, if you don't know what that means, particularly dangerous situation. And tornadoes are possible, EF3 and higher. And this is an incredibly dangerous situation with a significant hail parameter above 3, which is not a good sign. The threat not only continues into Louisiana, but strengthens into Louisiana uh, with, with Cape Valley's up to 3,000, maybe even more, continuing to show PDS tornado. And then as it continues uh, until about 9 p.m. April 3rd, it does seem to tone down a little bit, but by a little bit, I mean <coughs> Cape lowers a little bit and the storm weakens slightly in some areas. For example, right here, right where I clicked, it's still showing PDS tornado. And as it moves over, it continues to weaken below 2,000 uh, Cape. And it's now showing just a regular tornado threat, uh, not PDS tornado. But then let's actually jump over to Southeast. And you can see surface base Cape, go back over to the 12th, 13th. You can see it weakens, uh, but it's still capable of producing tornadoes. Uh, as you can see by soundings, it's not a PDS tornado, which means uh, you shouldn't expect monstrous widespread tornadoes. Uh, but you could see definitely a couple of tornadoes, maybe even a few on the stronger ends. And this is as far as it can go for the NAM model, so that's that. Then we'll actually go take a look at the GFS, see what they're saying about that. Uh, they're showing very similar scenarios and it continuing into Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia with a continuing tornado threat. Now with the winter storm outlook, uh, the aqua color you see here, you have some sort of chance to see a snowstorm uh, at least an inch in these light blue regions. But in the dark blue regions is where you have the best chance to see a major snowstorm above six inches of snow. Uh, I'll get right to the models. I'm going to go by this quick. This is what GFS is showing for a total accumulated snowfall. You can see here the storm tracks through Montana, going as far south as Kansas and into Wisconsin. This shows it going uh, more into central southern Wisconsin instead of uh, north central Wisconsin, which I'm not really favoring right now. Uh, but then looking at the European model, you can see I'm favoring this one mainly because it's been having uh, consistency. And it shows it really strengthening uh, up into the upper peninsula of Michigan and Wisconsin, dropping over a foot of snow, maybe even two feet of snow. And then looking at the Canadian model, 
this one is showing the same thing as the GFS, uh, I mean the European model. So that's that. That's your trusted weather forecast for this upcoming severe weather outbreak and snowstorm. Please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.